So what happened to me was, I was taking a look at the list about some of the worst movies in history, and I came across a really interesting one called United Passions. It doesn't look like anything special on the surface, but when you look a little deeper into it, it gets really crazy. This film has such a unique kind of failure that I had to check it out for myself, and now I'm gonna tell you what it's all about without you having to actually watch this pile of garbage. And away we go! So you're here for box office failure, and that's what I'm gonna give you. This movie had a budget of around $29 million and ended up with a box office return of exactly $168,832, which means that this film made back less than 1% of what it spent. But that's its worldwide total. Where it really gets sad is in America. The film opened in 10 different cities around the U.S., and on its opening day on Friday, June 5th, it grossed $319. You can literally buy a crowbar for more money than this film made on its opening day. And it just kept getting worse, too. It rounded out its opening weekend, grossing a sum total of $918 and became the lowest grossing film of all time in not only the United States, but all of North America. And here's the best part. One of the cities this film was shown in was Phoenix, Arizona, a city with a population of 1.66 million people. The film bar theater in downtown Phoenix reported a gross of $9, indicating that only one person bought a ticket to see this film. Imagine being the only person in the entire city of Phoenix to be like, hmm, yes, this looks like a good film, I'm gonna go spend money on this. Now you may be thinking, wow, I wanna lose $27 million, but I just don't know the way to make that happen. Well, this film's got you covered, and I'm gonna tell you the secret to failure. The best way to make sure that your movie is a total and complete bomb is to be accused of making propaganda. See, this film was 90% funded by FIFA, and if you're the one funding the movie that's being made, you don't really want that movie to be painting you in a very bad picture. The few people that went to see this movie were quick to point out that it might have been stretching the truth a little bit. And by stretching the truth, I mean just straight up lying to everyone. Especially when looking at how the movie portrays FIFA's then-current president, Sepp Blatter. The movie shows Sepp as a stand-up, steadfast man who has absolutely zero tolerance for corruption of any form. The actual Sepp Blatter is a no-good scoundrel who is currently serving a six-year ban from all football operations for corruption charges. As you can see, there is a small disconnect between movie Sepp and actual Sepp. Funny story about corruption and this movie, in an example of amazing comedic timing, this film was released at the same time as the 2015 FIFA corruption case, in which several current and former members of FIFA's executive committee were arrested for charges of corruption and which led to the resignation of your own Sepp Blatter. They just really wanted this movie to fail in every possible way. Critics quickly took notice of this and had a field day with it, describing the release as hilariously ill-timed and unintentional comedy gold. Speaking of critics... As you have seen, people did not like this movie. But how much did people not like this movie? Well, on Rotten Tomatoes, it is a proud member of the Zero Percent Club and has a score of 1 out of 100 on Metacritic, which indicates an overwhelming dislike. But that's not all, as the critics had some very choice words for this film that I will now relay back to you. It was described as astonishingly crass, cringeworthy, and cinematic excrement. You know if someone is calling your movie film poop, you've made a grave error. The London Evening Standard described it as the worst movie ever made, and the most extraordinary vanity exercise, a vile, self-empowering, sugar-coated pile of manure where Bladder & Co. managed to make North Korea's Kim Jong-un look humbling. 
that is a two count on the comparisons to actual poo. The New York Times claims it is one of the most unwatchable films in recent memory, a dishonest bit of corporate sweet sanitizing that's no good even for laughs. Maybe not the film itself, but I have laughed several times while looking at this Wikipedia page. But even with all the hate, it didn't stop this movie from winning its fair share of awards. At the 36th Golden Razzies, it won the Barry L. Bumstead Award, which is a special category for critical and financial failures. Good job, guys! As for what I think, I highly recommend this movie's Wikipedia page. It is absolutely hilarious, and I guarantee you will enjoy it. As for the movie itself, I'm going to have to go with the crowd on this one. This movie is film poop. Have a fantastic day.